Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV. On the show today, we're gonna to be taking a look at OXO's Barista Brain Nine Cup Brewer. So OXO's uh, Barista Brain Brewers are among the line of brewers that are SCA certified. So certified by Specialty Coffee Association, which means that they meet certain uh, really tremendously rigorous standards of brewing. So without going through all of them, in short, uh, the coffee has to be brewed to certain ratios, to, to certain levels of extraction. The heat has to be uh, to a certain level uh, at all times. I think it's sufficient to say that SCA certification means that coffee being brewed from a device that's SCA certified is being brewed properly. And it's one of the things about less expensive automated drippers where they fail is that they don't extract the coffee the way it should be extracted. It's not extracted to its fullest. One of the main reasons uh, that is the case is, is a lot of uh, less expensive automated drippers can't brew at the right temperature. Uh, they also don't have really great dispersion of water in the brew basket. Uh, they don't have a good brew time. All these sorts of things add up. So uh, this is certified. It's brewing really well. I want to dive into some of the unique things about this brewer. So uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to start brewing on this as I talk. Uh, but you'll see that uh, I filled the water here to the four cup level. This is a this is a nine cup brewer, and that's coffee cups. So this is in my recollection a cup of coffee on here. So this is a not brews nine cups of coffee is actually brewing uh, about half that number in measured cups of water. If you want to get into doing the math of how many milliliters of water this is, and then figure out your ratio, one of the nice things about OXO. If you look in the manual for this, they give you gram amounts for each of these measurements. So at four cups of water in here, they recommend brewing with 33 grams of coffee. That comes out to about a 16 to one ratio, somewhere between 16 and 15. Um, and so that's what I'm going with. I don't even need to think about it too much. This brewery uses a standard number four cone filter, so you can find those in pretty much any grocery store. Um, and you'll see that this is Pretty straightforward. I've already ground the coffee here, so I'm just gonna put this in. Uh, one thing about this brewer, since we have this open here, a little hard to show on the current setup as I can't tip this over. Should be able to see that the lid has uh, the dispersion head for the water. Uh, so what's happening is the heating element here is taking the water down, it's heating the water up to the proper temperature, it's coming up and then coming over here through a channel that's built into the lid and then into this uh, circular area and then dispersed by this lid. So we got these uh, six dispersion holes that give a really nice um, level of coverage to the grounds in the brewer. But the thing to note about that is you cannot open the lid while it's brewing or you end up with hot water spraying everywhere which uh, is not fun. This has a built-in stopper. So when you remove the, the carafe, this stops dripping. Um, it does not stop the coffee from brewing though. So when you start the brewer, it's best to just wait for it to finish. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in. Put that guy under there. Got our grounds in there. This is very straightforward. You hit the button and then you select the number of cups. And the guideline is actually on here. It's very straightforward. You either set it to two to four cups or five to nine. And it shows it on the water tank. So we're in the two to four cup region. Uh, if we were in the five to nine cup region, we'd select the other one. But select two to four, hit go. And now it's gonna start brewing. We've got some of these symbols on here. So the, I think that, that'll show up. Um, there's a little water droplets, which mean that it's, means that it's brewing. And when it's done brewing, we're gonna see something different. Since this is coming up, I wanna point out one thing that actually bugs me about this machine. The cord is really, really short. Uh, I can't pull this in front of the camera with my setup. I mean, I really need an extension cord for it, but why do I need an extension cord to use a coffee brewer? Uh, what I found with this thing on my counter is I have to have this right in front of a plug in order to use it which small things, but still, that's just one thing that's been bugging me about this brewer. Um, but it does brew a great cup of coffee. So, um, and here we go. You might be able to tell, I'm trying to be quiet here. 
because it's brewing right now and uh, you probably can't hear that. This is actually a really quiet brewer, which is pretty cool. I kind of like that. So all you really hear from this thing is the gurgling of the water as it goes into the grounds. And then maybe a bit of the dripping. Brewing on this really straightforward. You add your ground coffee and the guide even tells you exactly how much to do it. Uh, you just look at their chart. If you're doing four cups like I was, you had 33 grams of coffee. You can play around with it. Uh, for grind size, they use about a medium, medium coarse grind, something like that. Uh, start with one of them and then play around with it if you don't like your result. If you uh, want your coffee a little bit richer uh, or stronger in flavor, then make the grind size smaller. Um, I think it's one of the nice things about all the guidelines with this in terms of how much water and coffee to use is that all you need to do is adjust the grind size slightly to, to get the taste that you want. And then it's a matter of selecting either two to four or five to nine, hitting go. This, you'll see it has a clock. This does have a scheduler on it. So if you do want coffee automatically brewing for you in the morning, you can do that. Now, mind you, if you do that, you're gonna have to grind the coffee, you know, the night before at the latest. You'll have to make that trade off. Do you want your coffee to be ground right before you brew? Or do you want uh, coffee brewed for you scheduled in the morning? It's a lot of fun to wake up to coffee that is ready for you right then and there. You always have the choice to make. Uh, I'll be doing a separate video on OXO's grinder, uh, but OXO has a grinder uh, very much in this visual style. Um, that's a pretty great grinder and it has some, it actually makes a really nice pairing with this because it has a uh, scale built into it and you can, if for instance you're brewing with the same coffee all the time and you're always brewing the same amount, uh, like if, if I, I was always doing eight cups or well with this example here, if I was always doing four cups and I always needed 33 grams of coffee, I could set up the grinder to do exactly what I want, hit a button on the grinder, put the coffee in there, and then hit a button on here and be done. Um, but the scheduler is fun. Uh, this carafe, I'm actually a really big fan of this carafe. I'm gonna start talking about it before I get to it. Ergonomically, it's really nice. It pours really well, and it keeps the coffee hot. And that's about all you can really ask from a carafe. Uh, I'm a fan of metal carafes over glass ones, and um, the OXO brewers only come with the metal carafe. I think that's honestly the best way to do it. That way you're not applying heat to the coffee to keep it to a certain temperature. One of the certification requirements for being an SCA brewer is that the coffee has to stay within a particular range of heat after it's been brewed. Uh, it's somewhere in the, in the 180s Fahrenheit. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's not too much more to say about the brew right now. Uh, I'm just gonna let it finish going through its brew cycle. Uh, you'll see that it, it goes through spurts. It saturates the grounds, gets water on them and it drips and then it pauses and it goes through that process and that's just kind of mimicking what you would do if you're doing a pour over method as well. So um, we're gonna wait on this to finish and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. All right, we're just about getting to the end of the brew here. Uh, when it's done, the display here, I'm hoping that's gonna show up on the camera. The display is gonna switch and there it goes. So now we see this uh, kind of brewed cup symbol and a timer. And what this is actually showing is how long it's been since the coffee was brewed. Uh, shows it in minutes, so we're not seeing anything right now. Uh, but I think that's kind of a fun little feature, especially if you're brewing a big old carafe and maybe you have this for a household or maybe you're using this in office or something like that and you want to know when the coffee is brewed, you can look here and see how many minutes since this, uh, this carafe has been brewed. So that's kind of a fun feature. Uh, all right, so the coffee's done. Let's pull this out. And the stopper, I'm supposed to stop it from dripping. Sometimes I still do get stuff in the plate down there, but um, here we go, very straightforward. Um, and like I said, I'm a fan of the ergonomics of this carafe. Pours really smoothly and easily. It's a, it's a nice piece of equipment. Um, this uh, has some really interesting features that I can't really show you right now. So first off, like I said, it has a scheduler. And the way you get to that is you push and hold this until the clock shows up. And then you set 
you know, when you want it to brew. Uh, keep in mind that this does take a little bit of time to brew. I think a full pot can take like up to 10 minutes to brew, which seems like kind of a long time, but also you're, it's automated. So what does it really matter all that much? Okay, so we select the time, hit the button, and then you have to select, you know, how much you're going to brew, and then make sure you do fill it up to that amount. And then I think... Okay, it was actually just flashing me an error, and the error was probably that I don't have enough water in here. <laughs> but that's one of the other things I wanted to um, tell you about is that there's some extra features in here where it uh, it can detect if something is not right. So if you if you select five, you know, I selected five to nine to try to brew, and it started flashing an error, which um, had to do with the fact that there's no water in here. It'll also tell you if the, uh, the machine needs to be descaled. Uh, so descaling is uh, the process of cleaning out all the buildup of oils and stuff um, and other like minerals from the water that can build up in machines and, and cause you know nastiness over time. So it'll actually tell you when it's time to do that and it has a descaling mode. So you have to get a solution to do that. Um, I don't think it comes with it. The, the instructions for all this are really straightforward in the manual for this brewer. Uh, it's actually it's actually pretty nice. Um, so it has a has a full mode for cleaning. Um, if there, there there are several like error modes. If there are problems like not enough water or um, the basket is not in place properly or this isn't where it's supposed to be, uh, it's a, it's a pretty uh, impressive system as far as automation goes and ease of use, I think it really hits the mark. It's a really nice piece of equipment to have in your home uh, and just make good coffee without needing to know much at all. So um, good on the, the OXO brewer. Just OXO, if you're watching this, please make the cord longer. That's, um, that's really all I ask. <laughs> uh, and if you're curious, it's like a three foot cord. Uh, and I mean, that may be enough for many people, but, um, it's just, I've had a bunch of situations where it's been too short for me to be able to put it on the counter where I want it. So minor inconveniences, but, uh, that's been the OXO Barista Brain Brewer. This is the nine cup version. They have a 12 cup version, which obviously brews a lot more, but in addition, the, uh, water chamber is actually a removable kettle, which is kind of cool. So you can use it as an electric kettle for boiling water too. I obviously don't have that version, so I can't show you, but uh, they've got that. And in an upcoming video, we'll also have OXO's grinder, and I'll be able to show you uh, what that's all about and uh, give you an idea of how these two can work well together. If you have any questions about the OXO Barista Brain Brewer, please leave your comments below, and I'll get back to you. If I don't have the answer, I will find the person who does. I'll have links below to Oxo's products so you can check them out. Thank you so much for watching. After you grab one of these, you probably also want to get yourself a coffee lover's box and get your hands on some really great coffee that you can brew in your new machine. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.